today I'm going to be showing you my garden DIY transformation. As you can see, it's in a mess. This is going to be a long process. This is the side of the conservatory. All this needs to be cleared. The side of the conservatory looks so much cleaner after three hours. Okay, and this is how it looks in the front. It's day two of cleaning the garden and yeah, I'm on my own today. The plan is to remove all this grass and I'm giving myself three hours to do this. Hi! This is not easy. This is it now. After three hours, I definitely cleared the garden. Uh, I'm still happy with this. The only thing that I need to do now is this part here, which I can do probably tomorrow. But for now, this is it. For day three, the plan is to prepare the soil and then spray this wind killer so everything is ready when the sun and the artificial grass arrive okay so i'm happy with my day three everything seems to be smooth now it's all ready for the artificial grass i also managed to cut all these ivies that's trailing in these fences the fence is giving up because of these ivies as you can see that's broken as well and this needs to be cut Today is my fourth day of cleaning this garden and what I'm going to do today is fix the fence. I'm going to be using this paint. with this one however i ran out of paint so this bit here will be done next week we're trying to remove some of the roots here because we need to keep this flat for the artificial grass <laughs> i'm going to use this one look it's so big Yeah. Shall I do it? Can do this. Yeah! Take out the prize. Yay! It's like a hand. So this is the arm. And these are the fingers. It's not easy to remove this stump. Yes! Okay. <laughs> yeah! On this corner, we're gonna put um, my bike shed. Finally, the ground is ready now. We managed to remove the roots of this pine tree over the side. 
And now I'm going to put the underlay. Our delivery arrived from Wix and it's huge. Last delivery from Wix, the slabs and the mortar cement. So basically, we're going to put some paving because it gets so muddy during winter time. Okay, I'm going to be using this onto the edges so it won't move. Okay, I gotta stick this onto the sides. Daddy had to buy the security of stones and will borrow from home base because we need to be moving the sand from the outside going here in the garden. <laughs> to apply all the sand. That is laying the slabs. Today is another day. It's been four days since we last garden because we've run out of artificial grass. See, it's unfinished. So I had to order more for Amazon and it arrived today. It's here. So I'm going to be using this to secure the artificial grass right at the edges. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. It's time for me to join the two grass together using the self-adhesive tape. It's been a while since I last garden and today I'm going to complete this area here. I'm gonna put some stones. Okay. But I want to get rid of some of this here, in the bottom. Like that.
this tree is really tall now and it needs to go because the roots is going into the conservatory right there The tray is going into the macerator. That was great. It took them like five minutes. It's as if nothing happened. So today we are going to put the shed. First of all, we're going to put a base for this area and we're going to be using this one. It's also from home base. I will need to clear this lavender and also this plant here. Dad, maybe I will transfer this somewhere. Let's get over this. We're now laying the membrane, then after this, the base. Okay. We're now going to lay the base. It's just like a puzzle, then you just put it together, just like that. is just put some pebbles we're mixing now the cement to put on top of this base so it's nice and stable and today we are going to put the shed up so this is the base we've been doing this for about three days and it's now dry there's a very good instruction so hopefully it wouldn't be too hard this will take us two hours These pebbles from being cute will go in this side. The shed is almost finished now, however, I just had to attach the door just now because they haven't provided us with the right screws for this side here and at the bottom. Here's the screw set we bought from BNQ and it comes in different sizes and length so you just have to try what fits into the hole. And my plan is to put more of these stones here in the front and I still have one back here. so much better now oh my god I'm so happy look I need to put more plants here and here it's a work in progress but so far it's looking good I have more plants from Bambridge Center and this is chrysanthemum yellow chrysanthemum pink and this one is Azer it's gonna go here
I started planting the chrysanthemum and now I need to plant the rest. now and then the chrysanthemum here I just have to wait until the flower as you can see it's actually coming out I have a bag full of roses so first of all I have red then the yellow I only have one the white I had to buy two and the pink there we are that's my roses the yellow looks really good. I should have bought two instead of one. I'm going to plant it here. I'm going to plant these evergreens. First of all, these fruit bearing trees. I love the color. And this is called Solanum. This one is kind of tall and it's called Paris or Flaming Silver. And I like it because it flowers during winter time. This is the apple tree, the tallest, and that's 44 pounds. So it's a bit expensive. And the last one is this. And it's called Canivelli or Christmas berry. Two of these. Like that. Today's Friday and I have another project in my garden. I have these tiles which was here before and I think I need to put this back. I'm going to use this ready mix mortar to put all this together. Last night, the good apple tree and the rest of my evergreens and the grass and palm tree and ferns. Here is my roses. And this is my little pocket of plants. Oh my god, that is great. It's a case in it. Look at that. Cute. <laughs> New addition to my garden. There's the mirror and the two hanging planters. Right, my plan is to clean this garden. I'm going to remove all these leaves here. Love you with all my heart.
I know that you love me. I love you too. I Thank know, you. I know, I know, I'm so happy. The chrysanthemums are in full bloom. However, the lavender stopped flowering. This one is gonna go here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I inspire you to also clean your garden. Please like and subscribe. Bye. I hope I inspire you to also reorganize your kitchen. Bye!